one of the great actors on Oz on HBO, and he is in the movie Snatched with Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn. That's in theaters near you on Friday. Christopher Maloney, you are a sight for sore eyes, sir. Good to be, have you back here on this show. Thanks for saying. My pleasure. You were here week two. I know. I feel honored. Now you're here in year three. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. Look at us. Yeah, look at us. Look, look at us. Look at you with the mugs. Uh, yeah. Last time. Kept the hat. We gave you a hat. Yep. Now we've got mugs. Can't wait for year six. We call it <laughs> Porsche. I smell Porsche. That's Rich it. Eisen show. It's it's that's right. The hat is the gateway to the mug. Yep. The mug is the gateway to the Honda that we've got right here <laughs> yeah, on, on, on the show. Right. Come on now. That. Should have said that. It you know, there may be an I and Rich and Eisen. It's I'm about the team. You know what I mean? I do. But I do unfortunately, now. we have not seen uh, uh playoff progress <laughs> from from the Washington DC area when you were on it was october of 2015 we did see hey the, the redskins did make the playoffs great dra- last yeah. year great draft right? cousins came to play i think the conversation when when we were on the air was what's going to happen with rg3 i think that was the conversation we had two years ago yeah and now here we are with what's happening with kirk cousins where, where do you stand on the kirk cousins of it all christopher uh, a big fan I, but i think this is the this is uh I feel as though this year is the maker, I won't say break, but mm-hmm. this will, everything will play out, I think, as far as Gruden is concerned. Yes. Like his schemes and his leadership. Mm-hmm. And I think as far as a QB position. What, well, who was your guy growing up? Who was your, who was your guy when you, well, you know, it was made you fall in love with Washington? Chris Redskins Hamburger, football. outside linebacker out of North Carolina. Hall of Famer now. Uh, Larry Brown, mm-hmm. um, running back. Look at you going to um, school. Uh, Ashton Walton, strong safety, the hardest hitting. He was the bomb. I mean, he was the first guy I saw blowing people up. Right. And then, um, let's see. So you know, I'm, you know, my my time there. I mean, mm-hmm. as a child, child was yeah. Sonny Jurgensen, Billy Kilmer, then Thigh's been coming in. Right. Mm-hmm. They finally winning the, the Super Gibbs. Bowl in the truncated season. What. George Allen was the coach. And in the old RFK Stadium. Our old RFK Stadium. I mean, it was about that big. It's a barn. It really was. <laughs> it, it kind of was. You know and what I, I mean? loved like, it. You know, down by the D.C. jail. It was crazy. I remember having to, I, I went to a game, uh, a, a Cowboys-Redskins game yeah. in the late 80s. And I knew it was a different spot when I'm walking through the parking lot and the Redskins fans had... Uh, hung Danny White in effigy. I'm like, okay, okay, this is this is a different rivalry. And then I'm wa- and then I was in row three of the upper deck, yeah. and had to get up and look over to yeah. see what had happened in the back of the end zone. <clears throat> yeah, that and then it, it, it literally would shake. Shake, absolutely. Yeah, it was crazy. And I'm watching Jack Good Kent times. Cook wave to the crowd. And, yeah. Yeah. Those are the days, huh? Yeah, nostalgia. So now, have you been, when was the last time you were at a, a I haven't at a game? seen FedEx Field. So. Um, well, all you got to do is just look at an air bill. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what it, it's the world's largest air bill. Yeah, okay. It really is. So <laughs> all you got to do is just mail something. Yeah. Did you play football back in uh, the day? In high school, I did. Yeah? Uh, yeah, you know, small school. We were undefeated. The mm-hmm. uh, first time in 22 years for that, you know. That, right. 26 years for that school. So you. You were you were an undefeated quarterback, sort of like yeah, Cam Newton I played, back uh, in the day. I was cornerback, sophomore, junior, and then quarterback uh, for the senior year. So were you a scrambler? What were you? Big arm well, guy, well, we, Chris? We did we did veer, right? Veer <laughs> off. <laughs> for you kids, just look it it's up. It's like remember Google the Titans. Veer. That's real really, veer, right? Remember. That was the uh, that was actually uh, down the street from us. T.C. Williams, uh, the upon which we're, that story was based. No kidding. Yeah, and um, yeah, the veer. So. You know, I used to tell people that uh, I didn't have the biggest arm, but I, what I made up for, and you know, lack of arm strength, I uh, I made up for lack of speed. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Christopher Maloney here on the Rich Eisen <laughs> Show. So, what what was uh, what is the psyche of a Washington D.C. sports fan? Now here we are, day after well, the first, what happened last night. You know, the first thing you don't want to see, and it seems to be happening, because they caught me once, which is uh, the prognostications preseason Mm -hmm. for any of the sports franchises but it seems to be the caps well they're surefire (laughs) bet to go all the way i mean they have to look look at their roster yeah and then they do the same thing with the nationals at least they have been the 
you know, they're always up there. It's like, well, you know, last year they came that close. This is their year. Right. And, man, every time I see that now, which I don't think <laughs> – I'm not holding my breath. I don't think they're going to be doing that anymore, but – well, I mean, and then and then the Caps get 118 points, most in the league, and 55 yep. wins, and yes. then the trap door opens once again. What is that collapse? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it, I don't know. What it, I I don't know what it is. Well, I'd love may- to talk to the pros about it. Well, maybe maybe Christopher, maybe it's it's could be turned by one guy, and I don't mean to put any more on Bryce Harper's shoulders, but in the same way, look, you know, Brockman over there. Patriots hadn't won anything. Red Sox hadn't won since Babe Ruth was sold. Celtics hadn't won anything since Larry Bird, right? And the and the the Bruins, when was the last time they had won a championship? Same year, 86, I think. And then Tom Brady gets drafted. Not not as if that changed anything with the Reds, but he got drafted, cha- changed the Patriots one, and then all of a sudden Boston sports takes off. And we're seeing Cleveland maybe do that with LeBron James right now with the – I'm not, am I not, are you not selling what I'm buying, what I'm selling right now about the, the Washington, D.C. sports scene? But, you know, what? you have a LeBron who was, you know, crowned mm-hmm. a superior, phenomenal athlete, you know, just coming out of high school. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady, not so much. You know, I, I just feel each individual moment is, is uh, you, you can't build a whole structure around it. You know, I think of the Boston Red Sox. Mm-hmm. You know, coming. I didn't. Was there one particular player? I didn't think so. I just thought that it was that moment that they came back against the Yankees. Yes. All of a sudden, <laughs> not hurt. No, it's okay. It's, no, it's all right. I'm being these are facts. No, now. these are facts. These are facts. <laughs> I was living in New York. I'm, at the time. I'm trying to buck you up, and then you just stick it right <laughs> up in my gut. But that's it's okay. Roll. It's, so it's sad. okay. It's so, all right. I'm so angry. Um, you know, so I just thought it was a whole team. Mm-hmm. Uh, moment in, in that, and I, and I feel so with the New England Patriots. I feel so it's that that uh, symbiosis between uh, Belichick mm-hmm. and Brady. It's not just Brady on his own, even though right. he's, in my opinion, the greatest quarterback to ever play that position. I agree, the greatest player to ever play that position. Yeah, I agree with you. But on that I, front. I just I just think it's that Bel- Belichick being able to take these players, I mean, I, and put them in positions that no other coach has thought of putting them in. You know, it's whether it's uh, Vrabel as a wide, as a receiver, yeah. and and also I mean, it's crazy what he's able to get out of players. I know he'll take your third stringer and make them Pro Bowlers and beat you with them. There you go, and then pay them uh, pay them nothing, and then Brady takes a hometown discount. And now here we are, where their yeah. their their uh, potential repeat season already set up as we're sitting here. Uh, so enough ready about for them. Day. How can we fix the the Washington the, DC? I don't thing? know, man. That's what I'm saying. That maybe just maybe it all it takes is one, and then everybody starts believing, and then. And then I, I honestly don't know, but the fact that Brady text he texted Isaiah Thomas of the Celtics after they won their mm-hmm. championship, saying "You're next." That maybe, and he so he's using sort of a leadership role citywide. He's in spreading a way. his mojo. It's what he. I, I mean, he he definitely did that. Correct. I definitely did you that. See them. That's all I'm saying. You know, maybe maybe it could take Bryce Harper. I've got Christopher from uh, Christopher Maloney here in studio. What was it like working with Goldie Hawn? For crying out loud. In a comedy, what you know, was that, that like? It's a weird feeling. This has only happened a couple times in my career, where when you meet the person that you've known throughout your life, and mm-hmm. starting from your very young life, and you finally meet him, it's almost like this glow, this uh, uh, f- filmatic glow mm-hmm. that immerse. They come out of this mist of greatness mm-hmm. and into your life, into reality, and uh, that's actually what happened. And then they don't disappoint because they're smarter. I mm-hmm. never thought they would be. Um, they're so with it. They're helpful. They have the best stories in the world. And that's how it was. Right. And with Amy Schumer as well um, for Snatched. I mean, <laughs> yeah. What, a- yeah, well, Amy, Amy's just a pisser. You know, she's uh, uh, always pushing the comedy, mm-hmm. always coming up with ideas, all, always ready to play. So, yeah. They were both fantastic. And now that movie's coming out uh, tomorrow yeah. uh, in a theater near you. Um, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. This is not so. This is not at all any way, shape, or form your first comedy rodeo in no. quite some time, Christopher. Right? You got that yeah. in the yeah. wet, wet hot American summer. Are you part of some of the rebooting of this? Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, deeply uh, embedded in the uh, the wet hot American summer crew. What's that? 
I, don't, I think that's about June-ish. I yeah, can't. That, that's going to be really neat stuff yeah. that's coming out. That was a lot of fun to do. And I just heard today uh, I got a series on uh, sci-fi called Happy mm -hmm. based on a graphic novel that just got picked up. Well, very good. Breaking news. Things are, things are all working very, very well for you. Maybe yeah. sit, maybe you're the one that can spark the D.C. I'm sports going comeback. To maybe tweet that could be Bryce right after I leave here Let's and do say it. you're next. From at Chris underscore Maloney. I follow you on Twitter. You're a fun follow. And it's uh, it's great to have you here. Don't don't be a stranger for two more years, okay? I won't. Because you came in and, and, and again. And look you, what happens. When you come back, brand new car. Yep. Brand new car. That's yeah, the way right. we roll. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's the way we roll. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, download our app. Please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app, the Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.